That is sharp. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we're at uh, oop, 235, so we're getting closer. Olivia, are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> this is your first time having? No, actually, you know what, Olivia? You had it when you were when you were t were one years old. Wow. Yeah, we were at Festival, and you had some, but you don't remember. Good, Good afternoon, guys. How's it going? So me and Olivia are back in the snow cave, or Quincy, as they call it, and today we're doing something special, right, Olivia? Let's see, yeah. Something special? It's something that they do at Festival. It's actually a French tradition. And last time I did it, um, I wasn't very successful at it. Let's see how she's doing. But uh, we're hoping today we're going to be a lot more successful. So, what are we doing today? Grab it. Maple syrup. it involves maple syrup. Does anybody have a guess? Well, in French, we call this la tire d'érable, or in English, I believe it's called maple taffy. So, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I told it. So basically, if you guys have never had it, you should really try it. It consists of maple syrup. You bo you boil it down, and then you're gonna pour it on top of snow, and you're gonna take a stick, and you're gonna put it into that maple syrup, and you're gonna roll it. Oh, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. Let it tack up, just and then you roll it, and it's a delicious treat. Um, so last time I didn't make the maple syrup hot enough, right? So it needs to be around. They say 240 degrees Fahrenheit. I took it at about 220, poured it on the snow, and basically we had maple snow cones. So it was a fail. Yeah, maple cones. Yeah. So one thing that you're well now. I might be a little bit of a maple syrup snob, but I believe you can't make good sealed it up with just any maple syrup. It needs to come from Quebec. I, the only maple syrup that ever makes in my house is from Quebec, actually. And the grade A, it, and you, if you can get a clear, that would be the best. But you can still make it with just regular grade A. All right. Um, now, the reason I say that is because I know for a fact that that maple syrup from Quebec is actually real maple syrup. There's a lot of uh, counterfeit maple syrup out there, believe it or not. So, anyways, we'll see. We got we got the pot on the wood stove. Actually, we're going to give it a stir. Ah. Okay. Let's see that. Go ahead, look. Just be careful, it's hot. And don't touch the, the pot. Oh. All right. Let's see. So I just all I got is a quick read thermometer, so I'm just gonna quickly check the temperature and see where we're at. So we're about 220 degrees. All right, so we're getting there, but we're not there yet. This is where I I took it off last time. We're not gonna do that again. So, and what you're gonna want as well is you're gonna want a pan to put your snow in. So last time, the other mistake I did, I'm like, oh, well, I could just pour it directly in this. Well, what happens is the hot <laughs> maple syrup actually like, melts down. Anyways, so you want a, a pan, you wanna get some clean snow and pack it down. So while this cooks, I'm just gonna head outside and I'm gonna go get some fresh snow. There you go, there's our pan of snow. Let's get back in there. All right guys, we just did a little tester and she is ready. So we're gonna start pouring this on here. All right, okay. So I didn't get, don't have any popsicle sticks, so I just made some cedar sticks here. All right. So. Are you ready now? Here's the moment of truth. No, it's really hot, sweetie. But what you can do is you can roll your stick after. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that smells good. Okay, you ready, Olivia? Yeah. So we're gonna make three strips, and then we'll make. Oh, they're touching. I should have probably packed this down more level. Oh well. And we're gonna make some extra little candy pieces. We don't want to waste any of this. Okay, so do is I gotta get a stick. Now, right here. Oh no, Dad! I know that's okay. It's okay. Okay, so we're just gonna let that tack up just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I think. Okay, Olivia. Yeah. So, take this and roll it. What? Like oh. This. Roll, but, roll. I don't want my mitten. Okay. I'll roll it because it's. Oh no. no. We're waiting too long. Too long. Here. There you go. You can take it. It's 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 hard. Okay. Well, I let it sit on the snow just a little bit too long, guys. So. She did harden up just a little bit, but you get you get the idea. So this stuff we're actually gonna put on the side because we're gonna bring some in to, to, for Allie. So there we go. Well, be careful, sweetie. Don't pull it like that. <laughs> pulling your hair now. Okay, roll it. Roll it. Roll it. <laughs> Hair problems, eh? Mmm. Once I get this out of my teeth. Anyways. Do you see? Really tasty snack. Really easy to do. Now, if you don't have a thermometer, what you can do is you can periodically just take a little piece, put it down in the snow. And see how it hardens up. Then you'll know if it's ready. This is such a great French Canadian treat. Hey Olivia. Mm -hmm. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're uh, new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other content. Otherwise, just give me a big like and we'll catch you guys in the next one.